Would you just look at that? Just look at it. Oh my God. Just look at that. Mm. Wow. Amazing. So uh, the, the deal here is the same as before. We're doing tree printing. And I just got this beautiful block of little parts for the hover bike um, from the printer last night. And, um, but there's a difference now. So these, these supports here, the little deer antler looking ones, are done using the Blender Skin Modifier. So as I've said a thousand times, I'm using Blender to do these supports. It's a free program and it's really cool. So this Skin Modifier allows you to create these interesting little like lattices really quickly, really easily. Um, and you can change the thickness of the lattice and you can do cross beams, you can make triangles and sort of make like a web, web pattern really, really quickly by just connecting points in space. So the cool thing about these having these really, really thin lattice supports is that we can basically rip these parts right off of the, the supports. And it kind of sounds like Velcro, <coughs> which is sort of neat. And so let me show you here. It just goes rip right off. And um, if you look underneath, there's barely any uh, there's barely any cleanup. Every, it, the, the supports are so thin that they just snap off without really leaving any marks. So you, you could just do like a light sanding and it'd be done. So before, with the thicker supports, we'd have to go in and snip off each and every one of these um, posts individually. So that, that would take probably a couple hours to snip off all of these little parts because they have so many little posts. So um, this way saves us a lot of time because we can just rip them off. So here's that part in Blender. And I just want to quickly show the, 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 the skin modifier. So these, all these uh, antler looking parts are using the skin modifier, which is over here in the wrench modifier tab. And right here is the skin. I also have a sub, subsurf under it. So let me turn off the subsurf temporarily and now we can see the skin modifier. Let's, I'll do Shift H to hide everything else. And basically with the skin modifier, all you need, let me, let me turn it off. So all we need is just simple edges and verts and space. So I could just get like a dot and place it over here. And e to extrude it and drag it over. Shift D to duplicate it, E. You could even pick two and hit F to connect them. Um, so let's, let's turn on that skin modifier again with the eye. And so it doesn't do it here, even though it's working over here. And that's because we need to set one of these points as the root. So I'm going to pick one of these. It doesn't matter really which one, but I'll just mark this as the root. And that way the, the skin modifier is applied. So this is really great because we can move this around after the fact. And also, we can change the size. So if I hit Control A and drag, Control A and just move my mouse, that gives me the size. But if I pick one vert all the way up here on the top, Control A, now we get a really pointy tip. So this is awesome for supports because we, we want to generally have thicker supports at the bottom and then it tapers towards where it touches the part. Um, so this is just super easy. We can even grab a vert here, E to extrude it, and it automatically connects there like magic. So after after this stuff is done, you I mean, again, you can even pick a vert here and then pick another one, hit F to to connect it and we have a triangle and this is really awesome because triangles are super strong and it'll let us get away with less support um, while making it stronger um, all right so then after the skin modifier and by the way you can find the skin modifier in here if you just you, you, know, you got to be in the wrench tab and then modifiers and then skin so that's how you, you find it. OK, and then after that, I'm adding a subsurf. So you'll add modifier, subdivision surface, 
and that'll bring in this one. This one just smooths, smooths it out a little bit. And I, it, you might be able to, you don't really need this. It just looks nicer and it, it might work a little bit better. I'm not sure. But this is kind of just an uh, aesthetic thing, I guess. And you can change the smoothness of it over here. But this will, you know, greatly increase your your uh, poly count. So just be careful with this subsurf. So yeah, I'm I'm excited with this. It's it's a really really cool modifier. Lets you do this kind of work super fast and conveniently. So that's it. And um, these parts will be packed up and hopefully shipped by the end of this week. And that'll be the end of our run for the the hover bike project. So thank you. Uh, to all of our customers out there, whoever's bought one of these things, we've been taking a lot longer than expected to, to make them, but um, hopefully just using little techniques like this, we've made it a little bit shorter than it would have taken. So yeah, again, thank you, and uh, I'll see you next time.